Hello everybody, this is Alex from SoyaChinchai.com and this is a COVID-19 vaccine Malaysia update. This is a weekly show where we recap the latest developments of the COVID-19 vaccine as well as the national immunization program. Just a friendly reminder that this update is also available in Bahasa Melayu and you can check it out on the Soya Chinchal BM channel by clicking on the pop-up above or click on the link in the description box below. Pfizer is the first COVID-19 vaccine to obtain full US FDA approval. And finally, the single-shot CanSino Bio vaccines have arrived in Malaysia. And if you're living in a Klang Valley and have not gotten vaccination yet, you can still walk in to get your shot. This and more in this week's episode. Before we begin, here are some highlighted comments from the previous video. Ironing Man said, Hi Alex, great video as always. Question, when I donate blood after getting my vaccination, will the recipient also receive some form of vaccine or COVID antibody in that matter? Assuming I already had the antibody from vaccination. Thanks. Hi, Ironing Man. Interesting questions. Well, you can't actually transfer the vaccine through a blood donation. Well, the antibodies are actually developed by a person's immune response after receiving the COVID-19 vaccine. So it's still recommended to get the vaccine for the optimal protection, even if you've received a blood donation from a person who is fully vaccinated. Next, we have uh, Rafai Tahir. As always, thank you for the updates and thank you for delivering them excellently. We'd like to know what are your thoughts on the third jab for each of the vaccines that's available here in Malaysia. AstraZeneca, Pfizer, Sinovac, j and and CanSino. Thanks again, Alex. Thanks for the comment. At the moment, Malaysia is still studying whether a third dose is required and whether it's possible for us to start mixing vaccines. Personally, I think before we start administering the third dose, we should administer two doses to as many people as possible, especially children aged below 18 years old. The full rollout plan to vaccinate children aged 12 to 17 years old was supposed to be announced last week, but so far, there's no announcement yet. Alvin Ho said, Since vaccination in Malaysia reached 80%, when the government will allow tourists to come in? Hi Alvin, thanks for your comment. Yes, the tourism sector is actually very important to Malaysia, but before we can allow tourists from overseas to come in, there are a couple of factors for us to consider. Besides the high vaccination rates, we also need to consider the medical healthcare system. If there's another future outbreaks of new variants, are we prepared for it? At the moment, ICU cases still remain high and now is not the right time to open up for international travel unless we have sufficient hospital capacity. Reopening of tourism has to be done in stages starting from domestic travel and I think that international travel should be the last thing that needs to be opened up. The Pfizer vaccine has obtained full US FDA approval and this provides a boost in confidence, especially for those who are concerned about its safety. The Pfizer vaccine, which is also known as Cominati, has met the highest standards required for safety, effectiveness, manufacturing quality required for US FDA approval. The vaccine was granted emergency use authorization in December after it was found that the benefits outweigh the risks. According to the FDA, the efficacy rate is 91%, which is slightly lower than the 95% rate from the clinical trials. Take note that the US FDA approval for Pfizer is only granted for individuals aged 16 years old and above. Vaccinations for children aged 12 to 15 years old is still allowed under emergency use. In Malaysia, Pfizer has received conditional approval by the National Pharmaceutical Regulatory Agencies for children aged 12 years old and above. With over 86% of the adult population in the Klang Valley having received two doses, the Special Committee on Ensuring Access to the COVID-19 Vaccines, the JKJV, has announced that several PPVs have started to shut down. This includes mega PPVs including Sunray Pyramid Convention Center, Mines and Mitech. Other vaccination centres in the Klang Valley are still open and the JKJV will still continue to vaccinate more adults including non-Malaysians and refugees. The walk-in vaccinations at Stadium National Bukit Jalil has stopped since 23rd of August 2021. If you're non-Malaysian and have not vaccinated yet, you still can get vaccinated through appointment by signing up at the MySuggestra app, vaccinecovid.gov.my or calling at 1-800-888-828. If you're Malaysian in the Klang Valley and have not gotten the vaccination yet, don't worry. The JKJV has extended the walk-in vaccination program at 14 PPVs. This includes KL Convention Center, Asiata Arena Bukit Jalil, IDCC Shah Alam, Dewan Civic MBPJ, and University Multimedia Cyber Jaya. Take note that the walk-in vaccination program is only open for residents of KL and Selangor. You need to show proof of residence which can include your bill, employment letter, employment card, student card, and other documentations. After swearing in as the ninth Malaysian Prime Minister, Ismail Sabri Yaakob has announced that the government will procure 6 million vaccine doses to increase the coverage of vaccines in Malaysia. Before the former Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin left office, Malaysia has procured a total of 87 million vaccine doses, which amounts to 4.3 billion ringgit. 
A couple of weeks ago, the JKJV has issued an update to its vaccination guidelines for pregnant women. It said that it recommends pregnant women to get vaccinated after 12 weeks. However, they should not be denied vaccination at any decisions after weighing its benefits and risks as pregnant women are most vulnerable to COVID in the late second and third trimester. Pregnant and breastfeeding mothers are urged to consult their doctors if they have any concerns or questions about getting vaccinated. The single-shot CanSino bio vaccines from China have finally arrived in Malaysia. The first batch of 200,000 vaccine doses have arrived and Malaysia has procured a total of 3.5 million doses. The single-shot vaccine can also speed up vaccination because it only requires one dose and the person is considered fully vaccinated after 28 days. An anti-vaxxer couple was arrested after they bragged about dining in at a restaurant despite not being fully vaccinated. According to the Facebook post, the woman shared how easy it was for a family including two children to dine in without being asked about their vaccination status. The post also said that her husband, who was also denied entry twice at a barber but was also eventually allowed at the third try. As announced recently, restaurants in Phase 1 states of the National Recovery Plan can allow dine-in but only for individuals that have been fully vaccinated. If you got a two-dose vaccine like Pfizer, AstraZeneca or Sinovac, you're only considered fully vaccinated 14 days after getting your second shot. If you get a single-dose vaccine like CanSino or Johnson Johnson, you're considered fully vaccinated 28 days after getting the injection. As of 24 for August 2021, Malaysia has administered more than 32.2 million vaccine doses nationwide. More than 18.6 million people, or 57.1% of the total population, have gotten one dose. More than 13.5 million people, or 41.6% of the total population, have completed their vaccination with two doses. In terms of fully vaccinated adult population, Labon has the highest at 92.6%, followed by the Klang Valley with 86%, and Sarawak with 85.7%. Malaysia aims to fully vaccinate at least 40% of adults in every state by Merdeka Day. Both Kedah and Kelantan have fully vaccinated 39% of the adult population, while Sabah has the lowest rate of 32.5%. That's all for now and if you have any questions, please drop them down below in the comment section and we'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Due to the rapid developments of the COVID-19 vaccine as well as the National Immunization Program, some of this information might be out of date, so you can get the latest information on soyachincha.com or check out our latest video in our YouTube channel. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe us on our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you'll be informed of our future videos. This is Alex from SoyaChincha.com. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!